G'day guys, and welcome back to the Film Recap channel, in today's video I'll be recapping Bloodshot released in 2020. So I hope you guys are cozy and comfy and got your snacks and without further ado let's jump in today's video. During his time as a Marine, Ray Garrison specialized in rescue operations. After an operation in Mombasa, Ray and his wife Gina moved to an Amalfi Coast hotel. The leader of the mercenaries, Martin Axe, asks Ray who told the Marines about the hostages and their location. Gina and Ray get kidnapped from their hotel by a group of mercenaries. Since Ray doesn't know the information, he can't tell him. Ray vows to kill Axe and the mercenary kills Ray too. A few months later, Ray wakes up at Rising Spirit Tech RST. RST is a company specializing in cybernetic upgrades for disabled US military personnel. Ray has amnesia and doesn't remember much about his previous life. Dr. Emil Harding, CEO of RST, tells Ray he's the first successful bloodshot subject. Using experimental nanotechnology, Ray can resurrect and heal himself. In addition to accelerating his healing, the technology also increases his strength. It's important to replace and recharge the nanites regularly, otherwise Ray will get damaged and die. When the nanites are working at full power, they make a red glow on Ray's chest. Dr. Harding has worked on other patients at the facility. KT is a former Navy diver who had her lungs replaced. Jimmy Dalton has had his legs replaced and he hates Ray. Marcus Tibbs has enhanced senses. During his stay at the facility, Ray experiences flashbacks to Gina and Axe. He leaves to find Axe and get revenge. With the RST servers and nanites, Ray tracks Axe down to Budapest. All of Axe's bodyguards are killed by Ray. At RST, Ray's nanites get rebooted and Ray's memory is replaced by a new scenario of how Gina dies, so Ray wants revenge on anyone Harding programs him to. As a result of Harding manipulating Ray's memories, Nick Barrys is the killer in the new update. KT objected to Harding manipulating Ray's memories, but Harding reminded her he could kill her anytime by kicking her out of her breathing. RST is reintroduced to Ray after he wakes up again an amnesiac. He has flashbacks of Barry's kidnapping him and Gina and killing them. He chases Barry's down to East Sussex, where he takes revenge. Though his target tries to convince Ray that RST is lying, he kills Barry's. A computer programmer named Wilfred Wiggins who is being forced to work with Barry's activates an EMP bomb that incapacitates Ray and cuts off his connection to RST. Wilfred works on Ray and recharges his nanobits. Wilfred reactivates Ray in his office and he experiences contradictory memories about who killed Gina. Ray starts to realize that RST is manipulating him so he would kill rivals and enemies of the company. In London, Ray finds Gina alive and well, five years after they ended their relationship. More devastatingly, Ray discovers Gina has a family and life all by herself. KT goes after Wilfred back at RST. Instead of capturing or killing the programmer, she asks Wilfred for help escaping RST control and destroying the company. KT returns to RST and tells Harding she didn't get Wilfred. At the same time, Ray is captured by Dalton and Tibbs, who bring him back to the lab. Wilfred and KT destroy the RST computers and sabotage the reprogramming process. Ray gets back to work with his memories intact after reprogramming. After a long battle with Ray, Dalton and Tibbs fail to subdue him again. Despite destroying the RST building, Harding confronts Ray straight up, confident he'll surrender, as his nanites have run out. However, Ray wants Harding dead, so he activates an explosion that kills both of them. Once again revived by Wilfred, Ray wakes up with his full memories. Wilfred says that he had updated his technology so that the nanites are self-sufficient. Wilfred, Ray, and KT begin their new lives as full-time citizens. Thank you for watching, if you guys want to suggest to me what movie I should do a recap on, then feel free. Take care and I'll see you next time.